hello guys welcome to today's video on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to live stream to your facebook page making use of obs studio so if you don't have obs studio yet just go ahead and search for obs um, projects i think it's obs project so i have two laptops right here on this laptop i'm going to live stream and on this laptop i'm going to manage my live stream but then you can do this on one laptop the reason why i'm doing this is like i don't like logging in uh, my device on multiple laptop on this laptop this is a chromebook i cannot use obs on a chromebook but i can use obs on a windows os so if you have a windows os logged in to your facebook page you can do everything on one laptop but i have it on two different laptops so um go ahead and download obs studio and have it installed so when you have it installed it's going to show you some steps to log in after you install it but just cancel out that step we are going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and show you everything you need to do so um have obs open now i'm assuming you are opening obs for the first time so um have all of this in mind so ignore this this is actually already added so when you have this open for the first time i'm going to go ahead and delete this particular scene so this is going to have your scene and under your scene you should have the source area so for the source area that is actually where you choose what you want to display on your live stream so if you want to show your webcam um, click on the plus icon for the source area make sure you um, looking at this source section click on the plus icon right there and then uh, you can choose media or you can choose display um, capture now what display capture means is going to be displaying your um, your desktop so this is displaying what I'm doing right now on my desktop you can see that on my screen I have OBS and if I go to the desktop it's going to be showing all of this on my live stream so um, do not worry about this and then another option is let's say you want to show your webcam just click on the plus icon again under the source area and then choose on video capture device now when you choose this it's actually going to show your webcam so i'm going to click on ok it turn off my webcam okay if you can see me right now that is obviously because my light was turned off so this is my webcam and then um if you have an external camera attached to your laptop uh, click on the device and it's going to be displayed here but I do not have any of them attached so I'm going to click on OK and I'm okay with that so you can actually move this around move it around and then I'm going to reduce it I think I'm okay with this size because obviously if you're live streaming you don't want it to display everywhere and then another thing guys if you do not want to live stream your desktop let's say you want to actually live stream a game you have already played or an existing video on your laptop you can also do that click ok and then browse for it you actually saw what i did click on the plus icon select media source and then browse for that particular video i have a particular video on my laptop it's called a game a game called endling i'm going to choose that and this is the game double click on it to have it selected click on ok and this is the game so if that is what i want i can make it display on full screen and this is actually full screen mode and for my camera i can bring that to the front by clicking and dragging it upward so my camera is going to be displaying while the game is playing so if you don't want the video to start playing pause it and then move um, this is actually the timeline you can move it forward and backward but just move it backward so that it's going to start from the beginning for the people watching and now the next thing you need to do is to click on the settings now the setting is actually the very important area where you make all of the changes or for your live stream so the first area is the video on video resolution i always have this on 9 um 1920 by 1080 pixel that is actually the full screen for 16 ratio 9 so that is actually the perfect screen size for uh, live streaming on on mostly all device so it's going to um, give it the best proportion on every other device and now the next thing is actually our video frame rate on default um, you can choose any one you want but automatically for OBS is going to choose the best one for your PC so the best one for my PC is actually um, 
um, 30 frames so um, you can actually change this to choose the best one for your device if you have a very good internet speed go ahead and choose um, 60 frame and it's actually going to make your video appear very well and then also if you open your device resolution and you do not have this aspect ratio you could actually change that because on default my PC this is actually my PC resolution let me show you guys what I mean so when you right click right here and you go to the display settings you are going to notice that your display setting on default this is my highest display settings so i can actually change this but there, you can notice there is no option for 9 um 1920 right that is actually because of the laptop size or the laptop screen size so even though i drive this i can drive my graphics and get a better um, resolution but right now this is what i'm getting so even though you are getting that you can actually change the resolution to be 9 um 1920 by 1080 which is actually the best resolution for live streaming video so now if you come to the audio if you are using an external mic you can come here and choose the mic that you are using but i do not have any mic attached to this device so it's not going to be displaying any mic option so i'm going to leave the default settings active and then the output area um you can go ahead and leave this on default it has the first output area which is audio track selected but you can go ahead and make changes to this and also your live streaming audio i do not have any external devices so i'm going to leave down this on default so um then final thing and the most important area is actually your live streaming key now your live streaming key is one of the most important thing i actually have this hidden so um if you want to live stream on default this is going to be showing twitch so if you are seeing twitch right now is very normal because that is the first time you are using it but then if you want to live stream to facebook click on this service and then choose facebook live and then the next thing you actually have to enter in the streaming key once you enter in the streaming key you can start live streaming now to get your streaming key um, to live stream you have to come over to facebook business suite or you can just do it on facebook.com go to facebook.com switch to your page section and then um click on live um live video or live stream and then you click on go live now if you click on go live it's going to bring you to the dashboard area where you make changes to your live streaming um setup or your live stream settings so that is actually where you get your streaming key from so um you notice on default this is asking us to connect our video source so the first thing you need to do is to connect your video source so the video source we are going to be using is actually a streaming device so on default this is actually my streaming key so all i need to do is to copy the streaming key and then paste it here where it says streaming key now i've actually pasted that in if i click on show it's going to show you the same streaming key that is displaying on this other device so all i need to do is to copy this streaming key and find a way to transfer it to this other laptop but if you are using the same laptop to live stream all you need to do is to click on copy and then you go to your obs and then you paste your streaming key so after you paste your streaming key just go ahead and apply and then click on ok so once you've done that you can go ahead and tap on start streaming on your obs so immediately you click on start streaming it's going to have to it's going to load up and connect to this area right you notice right now it has checked on and it's showing that um my video source has been connected right now um it is actually active and we are already live but do not worry we actually have to make some other settings so after you have done this after you have done this you need to do the second setting which is actually um the video title and your description you must add them if you do not add them you cannot go live so click on this area which is um where it says what's what's your life let me go ahead and close it out so you actually understand what i did so you see here where it says what's your live video about click on it so when you click on it you'll be able to enter the video title so i'm going to say end link end link um gameplay 
um, rewatch. Right now, go ahead and add a description. So if you're done, click on save. So after you have saved this, you can notice right now that we have actually completed our post detail. Then there are other information. You can actually tag the game that you are playing. So since I'm playing end lane, um, I have to enter in end lane. And actually, guys, tagging the game actually helps the game to display for people that like this kind of game. So they are actually going to see it. And also, if you want to share this to other pages, you can click on this area and then you share it to other pages and it's actually very helpful when you share it to other pages it makes it more visible and also if you want to target a specific location you can actually do that but i'm actually okay with public and all of this you can actually say allow selected location that is if you do not want to live stream this um, to be global or the whole world so i'm actually okay with the default settings and i do not want to cross post if you want to cross post you can live stream this on three different pages that you have but i'm actually okay with the one i have i do not want to cross post and i also do not want to share this to group but sharing this to group is actually very important guys do share this to group especially groups that you have so now if you are done with that you can now start going live I know you might not see the live icon but this is actually the live icon so once you hit on go live it is actually going to start going live and your live stream is going to start and you notice right now it's saying starting right so the video is starting immediately it starts it's going to display and this is our life right there so we are already live and you can notice right now that we are live and we can always end our live stream whenever it closes this way just click on this area to open it back and you are going to see your live stream display here and every other settings and any any other changes that you want to make you can always make it so i can click this video to start playing and it's going to start playing my live stream and all of the activities that we want and you can also check this on your mobile and every other device and this should be going live streaming perfectly well so guys i'm going to end this live stream because it's just a tutorial and i hope this video is helpful if for any reason you have any issue doing this please let me know on the comment section i am hopefully going to respond to that and i made this video to somebody that actually requested that they want to know how to live stream on facebook so if you also have any other unique video that you decide um, that you want to make please let me know on the comment section and guys i will see you on my next video please stay safe and peace